Hey guys, I just thought I should make a quick video on this subject since a lot of people are always curious about it. Um, when it comes to the Digimon trading card game, a lot of people missed out on the early releases, specifically the 1.0 and 1.5 box. Uh, well, unfortunately, when you're trying to get a whole booster box of either 1.0 or 1.5, they are severely overpriced by scalpers or just LGSs that are just overcharging for it, and the price equivalent of that compared to the msrp of what it should be in the first place just it doesn't it doesn't help the cause of buying a scalper priced product so i just thought there's a i thought i should um show like a little strategy of mine that i really isn't a strategy it's just kind of like logic based on the amount of money you spend and i figured this is just something that'll help a lot of people out there trying to get 1.0 1 and 1.5 all right, so here I am on GameNerds.com, which is a very trusted site, a legit site. I use this site all the time to get a lot of product. I am not sponsored by them in any way, but I wanted to show here the Digimon Training Card Game Premium Pack Set 1. This is what you're going to want to get. As you can see here, it's priced at $16. Originally, when this came out, it was like $20, $25, but... On a site like Game Nerds, it's $16. Why is this important? Because, let me scroll down here. This uh, set contains four boosters. And each of, and these four boosters are two packs of 1.0 and two packs of 1.5. Which means, if you were to get, say, 12 of these sets, you would have a booster box equivalent of both 1.0 and 1.5. And since a set is $16, that means you're basically paying $4 for each booster pack, which is the actual MSRP price that the official card game site lists it as. All right, I did the math for you here already. I put 12 of these sets in, our, in the cart, and 12 of them equates to about $191.64, which with tax equates to about to $205. So for 205, you get both a booster box worth of 1.0 and 1.5, 48 packs. Now, the booster boxes also come with box toppers and like additional dash dash packs. That might be like a deal breaker to some, but in my opinion, the di the difference between paying MSRP price for both booster boxes and paying scalper prices over prices at LGSs for both booster boxes I think the difference between the two is significant because then you could just buy the singles from those boost from those um dash packs on TCG player or eBay or so forth and it'd still be cheaper to just buy the, the booster boxes at MSRP which should be the case to begin with and I took that advice to heart because I did it myself I bought 12 of these premium sets there's eight in this box four here 12 for a total of 48 boosters 24 from 1.0 1.5 and i think this is the way to go when you want to buy both booster box uh sets it's definitely cheaper to do it this way from what i'm seeing i honestly don't think we will ever see 1.0 1.5 boxes ever again on aisles for original msrp I I, I see the same going for like the starter sets, especially the guy I read. I just think this is the way to go for now to buy them significantly cheaper, both booster boxes, and not have to pay asshole scalper prices. All right, that's it.